now it's the business end, quite literally. Unfortunately, it's the last bout at Tokyo 2020 here at the Nippon Budokan. But what about it promises to be? The men's 100 kilo and over final. Revaz Chikoidze of Georgia defeated Masaki in the quarters. Sharipov in the semis, 37 years old, the number three seed. Winner of the European Championships in Genoa two years ago. Up against the number one seed, Mohamed Reza Kairolah Zadeh. Defeated Suba in the quarters and then Choi in the semis. 28 years old, number one seed. Won the World Championships three years ago in Portugal. Promises to be an absolute cracker to finish off what has been three wonderful days at the Nippon Budokan. And the man given the honour to oversee this bout is the referee from Japan, Hirano Hiroyuki. The biggest. And one of them will be the best in this plus 100 kilogram gold medal bout. The final of finals of Parajudo about to commence as Hirano Hiroyuki calls them together for Kumikata and the final four minutes as we get underway. Chikoidze of Georgia in blue. Keirola Zadeh of Iran in white. Iran going for their second gold medal of the day after Vahid Nuri in the men's under 90 kilo category. Chikoidze just waiting for that attack and there he came in for the Uchimata and then he tried for the drop sioi but couldn't quite get it off. Gun a little bit there, and referee wasn't quite ready to give them the command to start. So he's going to warn now. So Koryaladze gets a shido for failing to take the grip. It's so important to get the right grip to get themselves into an attacking position here. Chukati just once more just tapping away at the legs of Cody Alade. Keeping his chin in close and again he goes for the Uchi Mata and then the drop Dropsiri. Slightly taller, Kariolazi. Keeping in close, fairly upright. Stance. Kalaze bringing his man back into the area. Kariolaze trying to impose and looks like Chikoisti may have a bit of a twinge on his knee, holding his right leg.
Both of these fighters have represented their country in fully sighted judo. Uh, Chiko Idze, who we're seeing here for Georgia, won silver in the over 100 kilo category at the World Cup on home soil in Tbilisi in 2010. So that's 11 years ago. He's 37 years old now. Also Greco-Roman wrestling. Competed in the World Junior Championships almost 20 years ago now. Getting close to the halfway stage of the bout. Still no score. The only difference is the Shido against Kiriolate. Chikoidze trying to hook the foot around his opponent. Then Cairo Lezade does likewise. Now, can Kerry Oladze keep him down? The clock's ticking away. Ten will be Wazari. And he's getting there. That's the Wazari score at that stage. Can he keep going for the Ippon? It doesn't look as though Chiko Oladze is going to be able to get away from this, this grip that he's been held down with. Gold for Kairola Zadeh of the Islamic Republic of Iran. A second gold for them today. Waza Ari Awaseti Ipon. The hold that became, went from 10 to 20 seconds. And he takes the final, the last of the 13 gold medals here at the Nippon Budokan at Tokyo 2020. Elisa. Kami Shogatami, the technique he used to hold down Chikaladze to take the gold medal and the Paralympic title. A salute from him. And that's two out of three today in the men's for Iran. Vahid Nouri in the under 90 kilo category. Mohamed Reza Kairola Zadeh in the over 100 kilo category. The heaviest of the heavyweights. And he wins it by Ipon. It has been three days of top class judo in the Paralympics here in Tokyo 2020. And what a fitting way to finish with that plus 100 kilogram contest between Iran and Georgia. Two fantastic nations of judo expertise.